July 20, 2022 is a Wednesday. Welcome to your daily weather for the great city of Chicago. The temperature today should reach up to 85 degrees Fahrenheit and down to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is at 46%. You can expect 0.27 millimeters of rain and no snow today. Not many clouds. We've got moderate wind at about 16 miles per hour. Tomorrow is going to be hot with light rain. Friday is going to be hot with clear sky. Saturday is going to be hot with light rain. Sunday is going to be warm with moderate rain. Monday is going to be warm with light rain. Tuesday is going to be warm with light rain. Wednesday is going to be hot with moderate rain. No weather alerts at the moment. And now for the news. Warning, some news stories can be disturbing or offensive. Stories are provided by various sources. For our next story, it's a mess and I've never seen anything like it, global lost luggage crisis mounts. When Jen Choi packed her and her family's bags she feared for the worst. In our next story, Illinois hotel owners optimistic about hospitality industry recovering, but business travel still lags WIFR. Springfield WGEM hotel owners across the country hope to see the hospitality industry fully recover from COVID-19 econom. I see losses by 2024. Next up, Illinois governor tests positive for COVID-19, symptoms mild. Governor J.B. Pritzker's office announced Tuesday that the Illinois governor has tested positive for COVID-19. In our next story, Apple settles lawsuit over its reviled butterfly keyboard for $50 million. Apple could soon compensate MacBook owners for their troubles with faulty butterfly keyboards. In other Illinois news, Apple will pay $50 million in settlement over defective butterfly MacBook keyboards. It has been years since Apple was hit with a major class action lawsuit over the defective butterfly keyboard Apple Util. IZED years ago. In other Illinois news, black trans women lost to violence in Mississippi and Illinois. Two more transgender Americans have died by violence, bringing the 2022 total of violent deaths among trans, gender nonco. And forming, and non-binary people in the U.S. to 20. In other Illinois news, what is accounts receivable financing? Too many unpaid invoices can affect business growth. But for many small business owners, a stack of outstanding invoices is a grim reality. That's it Illinois. Have a good one. To help support improvement of our show, please click subscribe. See description for sources. This content contains information from OpenWeather TM API, which is made available here under the Open Database License ODBL.